20 countries took part in the ninth edition of the ITU Mixed Relay World Championships. Only last month it was confirmed it's now an official Olympic event that will make its debut in Tokyo in 2020. The Australian team just posing for a few photos. The German team, of course, would have the benefit of local support. The weather conditions a little bit rainy. And that would have its effect, as you'll see in due course. Just 300 metres to swim, and initially there wasn't too much separation. It's the fifth time that this event has been staged in Germany. Great Britain lead the way overall with three victories, but it was Yuka Sato of Japan who was first out of the water, but the big nations, the fancied nations, the US, Australia, Great Britain, weren't too far behind. Kirsten Kasper on leg one for the States. Anya Knapp, who we haven't seen too much of in the individual events this season, on the first leg for Germany. And it was a large bike pack, around 16 or 17, in the wet conditions, which certainly, as you can see, didn't deter the huge crowds that we always get in Germany. And it was Germany who came into transition first, Anja Knapp. But the run caused some separation. Sato having a terrific first leg for the Japanese. The women then tag the first man in their team. Japan first away. Spectacular diving off the platform, always a highlight here. Wetsu has to be in the box, otherwise a 10 second penalty. And Ben Kanuta the States, who absolutely loves this event. Terrific swim biker. And he was soon laying down the hammer. Him and Dorian Koenix of France with a two-man breakaway. At one point, they had a 14-second advantage over the rest of the field. Koenix just edging ahead of the American, but a good run from Canute put his country right in contention. The States with the benefit of Katie Zafirez on the third leg, and she was soon off on her own on the bike. Currently leading the individual standings, Zafirez. And she really put the States in a promising position here. Rachel Palmer running leg three for the Netherlands, and they were right in the mix as well. And it was McElroy on the last leg for Team USA, not in the side that won gold last year. And McElroy and the Canadian, Alexis Lepage, who came out first and second. The Canadians got a bronze back in 2009, and Lepage with his front wheel just going there on the corner. And that would cost him. He made an excellent recovery. But by that time, of course, McElroy was way clear. He was caught, though, and a group of five came into transition. A thrilling finish on the cards at that point. Tom Bishop of Britain had a poor transition. His chance had gone. And Jacob Bertwistle, who we saw produce a brilliant sprint yesterday in the individual event, and he did it again. McElroy just couldn't go with him, and after three times winning the silver medal. Finally, Australia struck gold in 2017. McElroy second for the United States. And a terrific performance from the Netherlands. Jorik van Egden finished third for bronze. The first time that they had been on the podium. Bishop in fourth for Britain. And that's what it means in this event. How good to Hamburg. Um, I love it here. Um, yeah, happy with the race yesterday and obviously again today to come out with the guys and uh, yeah, we're all able to put together a good race and uh, end up world championships. Pretty awesome. The Dutch, the 12th team to make the podium overall. Confirmation of the final results. The USA now have a gold, a silver and a bronze. But Australia taking the honours in Hamburg.